The Indiana Department of Transportation is pushing forward on its Interstate 69 project. When finished, the interstate will connect Evansville to Indianapolis. News 10's Southern Bureau Chief Eric Stidman has an update on the project's progress. There are not too many wheels on this Greene County stretch of Interstate 69. In fact, the only wheels here are the treads belonging to NDOT work trucks and heavy equipment. This is where the pavement meets the dirt. It's section four of the project. We have lots of construction activity from where it begins at the junction of US 231 just north of the Crane Naval Base and um, stretches over to State Road 37 in Bloomington. There's activity everywhere. We have so much going on. But this part of the project has proved to be tricky in some spots. Um, we had had some um, significant rains over the summer, so that ha did put a little damper and delay on some of the dirt work, but overall everything's going very smooth. The Indiana Department of Transportation says it's had its share of problems with the I-69 project. In this particular area, underground streams and layers of hard rock have all played factors in the paving of the road. Despite some minor issues, the payoff is there for the driver. INDOT estimates the interstate cuts 30 minutes off of drive times from Evansville to Crane and will put in a fast lane from southwestern Indiana to Indianapolis with an on-ramp in Davies County. The massive 142-mile stretch of road is under budget and ahead of schedule. In Greene County, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. All of Section 4 from Crane to Bloomington is expected to be finished by 2015. Section 5 will connect Bloomington to Martinsville.